Chainmail suit plus 100 defense and charm. So this guy had a suit of chainmail? Yeah, that looks cool as hell. He looks fly as hell. Even his tie is chainmail. Oh, that's so cool. Also, I, I thought that was Nathan Fillion for a hot moment. And now I'm kind of sad it's not. But the suit's cool. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen, and today we're taking another delve into r slash item shop. Images, videos, anything that looks like it belongs as an item in a video game or an RPG or anything of that sort. This subreddit is fun and normally posts come with like stats and things to show what it does. So let's just jump in, shall we? Weapon of Brass Destruction. <laughs> Threat eliminated. Dude, what were you packing in there? Holy crap. And what gets me is like the rest of the band over there just walking away casually like, yeah, he just does that. That's, the, that's normally at the end of every practice. Dude, that's not normal. You should call him out on that. That's bad behavior. Reducer of bills. Air peel. My apple broke the apple cutter and now I have a weapon. It keeps the doctors away. I'm pretty sure this is what the scaremongering and just the fear mongering kind of stuff of like Halloween uh, candy and all that kind of stuff was for a while. It's just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just see the Hellraiser apple. I clearly got to say, just don't do this. Like, obviously, just don't do this. Yellow Brick Tote, companion, leads party to next objective. Okay, actually, I really like this one. This is really cool. Just like, okay, sometimes as a DM, when you're like running the game for people, you do kind of have to like push them in a direction because that's where the story is and all that. It's I, I try very hard not to railroad people because then that's not really a game. That's just a story that people are acting out in your book. Having an item which they can basically use as like a guide marker towards the plot or a, 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 th a plot thread. Yeah, brilliant. Follow the yellow brick toad. I, I, I think that's just a genius in-universe way of doing it. Actually, I really like that. Hell, it could even point you towards things that are just not important. Or it could lead you astray, depending on your relationship with them. <laughs> oh, actually, I really like this concept. Harambe-shaped Cheeto. Rare item. Will provide. Turn into gorilla. Buff for five minutes. <laughs> Why is this? It's a hundred grand. It's a... <laughs> No! Gorilla Hot Cheetos, rare. One of a kind Cheetos, Harambe Gorilla. I'm just gonna say, you could just remove Harambe from that and it'd be the exact same and it would probably lose 99% of its value. <laughs> uh, please tell me, 132 bids. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to say, I hope no one's actually tried to buy this and I saw that number. Oh no. <laughs> God Turtle, companion that boosts defense by 400% and shields against undead and demonic enemy classes. 10 news at 7. God Turtle? <laughs> Why is that a question mark? Yes, it's the God of Turtles. Uh, <laughs> Why is that such- Why is it got a question mark at the end of Turtle? That's what's getting me about this. <laughs> 10 news at 7. Everything screams fake about this, and I love it. Crystallized book allows the user to cast four unique spells. Spell one is Crystal Storm, allows the user to cast a storm of sharp crystals dealing 45 damage per second. Spell two, Crystal Bubble, cast a crystal bubble to shield the user for 10 seconds and heals 10 HP per second. The other two are Yeah, you went into depth with this. Like, straight up, that's cool. I thought it was like a bit of salmon to begin with. A book crystallized in the ocean, I thought it was salmon. But you just went into, like, making a whole damn stat sheet for this. The Braille Tome of Crystal Miracles from Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, that's such a cool name. <laughs> the Kerbo Pumpkin grants a permanent buff to holiness when eaten. Plus 50 holiness, minus 50 hunk. Kerbo, Kerbo, Kerbo. Yeah, I love Kerbo. Man, Terminal Montage has made such an impact, and it's just so goofy, and I love it. <laughs> Speaking of making an impact, you can make an impact on this channel right now. How does that sound for a deal? All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share with a friend, all that interaction that helps us make more videos for you, which you can enjoy. That sounds like a pretty sweet deal for something that costs you nothing, except for maybe like two seconds. Sounds good? All right, cool. I'll see you on the other side. Giga Hand, plus 9,000 unarmed damage, minus 300% speed and agility. What is this from? 
where did this come from? I have a multitude of ideas of things I could say about this, but I think it, everything gets trumped out by just wanting to know where is this from and where is it going? Why is this just in the back of your car? What? Controller of the Ancients. Plus 700. Ancient. Plus 5 gaming. Plus 50 dust. An archaic relic from the Ancients. Okay, first off, 700 Ancient? What does that mean? That's not a stat. Second of all, you just broke into the spider's gaming den, and now you're just taking pictures. He's probably like chilling up on the roof, being like, yo, dude, don't touch. Uh, I haven't saved my game. It's just paused. Don't ruin this for me. 75 millimeter drill bit weapon type spear heavy plus 750 attack damage if spinning plus 75 thousand damage ability drill mode the drill bit spins at 773829 rpm and launches at your enemies after charging for two turns <laughs> always remember the decimal point when ordering a 7.5 millimeter drill bit <laughs> you've got a tank You've got a freaking tank shell drill bit at the moment. That's... Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Surely when you ordered that, you should have seen the change in the cost. Because ordering a 75 millimeter drill bit shouldn't cost anywhere near... Anywhere near a 75 millimeter drill bit. You should have seen the charge cost of me like, something might be a bit wrong here. <laughs> The Magnificent Duck, the symbol of cuteness and luck, plus 20% mob drops, plus 15% finding rare items in dungeon chests, and 25% move, 25 movement speed when in water. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone, take this, I will thank you very much, he looks adorable, and I will keep him safe. Jeez, damage, 200, causes bleeding, and can hit multiple enemies over a long distance. pre Prerequisites. You need dexterity and strength at level 30. What? <laughs> Why is that a thing? That's that. That clearly was never used for anything. It was just a showcase piece. Unless it's like part of like a very big lawnmower blade. Like what if there were like four other of these and they just part of like a big weed whacker? Sword breaker. 65% to lower enemy weapon durability. 25% chance to break it entirely. Okay, going back to the previous one, this is the antithesis of it. It's nice, it's compact, and it will do the job. You may have big long sword blade, but not much use if I can break it. <laughs> the enter key! Press to create 5,000 new lines in any file. That's just... <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Yeah, just... just if you really want to mess with someone, just hold control then enter, because then that's 5,000 new pages. <laughs> Speech Jammer, Ranger Class, Epic Rarity, obtainable in the Japan level. <laughs> Gives enemy the silenced effect on crit for 20 seconds, silenced, unable to use abilities during the duration of the effect. Fits in secondary slot, damage 55, 75 on crit, crit chance 22%, range 10, uses energy type ammo. What game are you playing? Japan has made a gun called Speech Jammer that can stop people from talking. One, I don't want to know what the implications are of this, because why was this developed? And two, there, yeah, I could see the use of that on some people. <laughs> Minor Donkey NPC. Interacting for the first time will give you a pickaxe and a mining helmet. Quests! Collect 50 ore of any type. Reward! Pickaxe upgrade! So it's just like Terraria then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, everyone remembers Mining Donkey. I feel like this is like concept imagery for the next Animal Crossing. Air in a bag restores plus 100 oxygen when underwater. Disclaimer, may contain small amounts of food. No, I want no food. I want no contamination in my bag of air. What if I'm under the water? I'm drowning. Think the sonic drowning music is ramping up. It's about to hit the crescendo. I'm about to drown. I open my bag. I get my air. And then I start choking on a tiny piece of chip? No thank you. That's a danger. Lego Knuckles plus 100 foot pain on opponent if it lands. Minus 50 speed on you if you miss. Okay. Uh, this feels like dirty fighting. All you need to do is like dip it in some honey. And then, I don't know, some lemon juice as well. And maybe some, like, uh, pop rocks. I don't know. Just dip it in things. I'm, I'm thinking of Hot Shots the film. <laughs> I just realized I'm thinking of Hot Shots the film. 
But why would it, like, if you punch someone with this, why would it automatically be foot pain? Like, you punch him in the face and their foot hurts? That don't make much sense to me, buddy. NVIDIA RTX 8,355 runs Doom in 16K resolution at 400 FPS. Really? Really? At 16K resolution at 400? That's all it gets from that? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Think bigger. The guitar above all, plus 100 fame, plus 60 guitaring skill, 250 defense, and plus 500 health upon discovering the item. Minus 30% of max health when equipped, 100% chance to brutally blow out the eardrums of a ghost or demon in a 10 kilometer range of the user. This feels like it's a guitar that Sephiroth would use in his final form. You know, the guitar of the biblically accurate to Sephiroth. God, if that was the end of Final Fantasy VII, is where Cloud and Sephiroth just start having a guitar battle, that'd be crazy. I'm not saying it'd be bad, I'm just saying it'd be crazy. Gord Turret deals an extra instance of wood damage with every attack. It's good to see that Aperture Laboratories are starting to be very environmentally conscious. It's nice that they're using renewable components now. <laughs> Duck Palm, once equipped, can tell if someone is meaning to be a friend or foe. Plus two charisma, plus one wisdom, minus three dexterity. Why <laughs> should have a duck? I don't know why that second image is kind of terrifying. Uh, but, <laughs> but no, that's actually a really good use of just being able to tell if someone's uh, genuinely trying to be a friend or if they're just trying to use you. God knows I would need that. Sniper grenade! Plus 100 accuracy, plus 100 range. How? How? How how does this work? You can't just attach a scope to something and then it just increases accuracy and range. <laughs> yeah, let me just add a scope to my shoe. Now I can play football. Sus cheese, plus 10 sus, plus 20 damage. <sighs> And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend and showing them cheesy sus. If you want to see some more r slash item shop, then stick around a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host Zen and hope to see you in the very next Calbus video. Have a great rest of your day.